What's up? It's Dejan T. And I'm with the gang. And we rocking with DME TV. Who got in the building today? <sighs> so, I'm Dejan T. Of Dejan T. Management. Okay. We got Freeport Donnie. Freeport Donnie. Lil Gordon. Lil Gordon. Uh. We got Photo Effect. <laughs> <laughs> you can even say the name. We got J Bands LBS two turn. Okay, right, right. Dejan Manager, what's going on? Ain't hey, nothing, man, nothing. Yeah, getting yeah. it together. Nah, getting you got something going on, you know what I'm saying? You got something, you got a lot of stuff going on. I see you, you know what I'm saying? You posting out there. What, what you got going on? Huh. Alright, so today is what, y'all? Thursday. So we getting ready. Um, we got a show coming up this Saturday in Walterboro at Hollywood. Okay. Our first quarter concert. Um, DJ Surplus DJing. Okay. I'm gonna get about 20 artists right now. I got about I got maybe 22, 23 artists signed up right now. Um, I'm gonna choose anywhere between 15 and 20, and I'm gonna do another show in March. Invite some more of my industry friends. I know QC is one of the groups that's gonna be there. Um, I got Zaytoven's, the A&R, Zaytown Tone coming out for that one. And a few other people that I'm going to be adding along the way. So that's going to be a really dope one. But the major thing the gang is getting ready for is South, South by South. South, South, South. Yes. Ah. Y'all turn it up. Man, yes. listen. That's going to be uh, March 16th. We what? up there. <laughs> oh, Momentum yeah. stage. <laughs> um, that one is... It means a lot to us. You know what I'm saying? It's much more than a performance for us. It's... It, that one's gonna leave our mark right. you know we've already been down to florida we showed out down there you know that's one of the reasons they invited us to come back because we did the culture house down there with rock nation and a few other groups that led to the distribution deal with um eq distro which led to the a and r devin harris who contacted us again it was like hey you know come out and do south by southwest started out as a little a performance with little gordon and then he called back and he was like wait why don't you just bring the whole team? So, of course, we're going to jump on that. So, we're leaving from out of here um, March 15th or whatever. We still got sponsorship slots out. So, we're going to be taking SC Hip Hop 100 was one. They actually gave a great donation to us. So, they made some flyers with everybody's QR codes on it. And we're going to take some of those out there with us and pass those out. Um, after that, then we got the Friends concert coming up, which is going to be the kickoff to the tour that we're going to, going to be putting together. Um, that one is going to be on April the 10th out at the King's Pavilion in King Street. So we're getting excited for that because it's a major outdoor venue and it's the grand opening of the venue. And she gave us the opportunity to kind of take advantage of that. So, so far, we got a lot of few dope artists signed up for that. We got a few vendors coming out. Like, that's that's another major one um, along the way. We got a few other things coming up. We got a plug and play uh, April 18th at the same location in Kings Pavilion with Zaytown Tone. That's going to be another good one. Um, if you got that music, come on out. If you want to come out and do some stuff, come on out, you know. Um, other than that, man, we're building along the way, doing a lot of behind the scenes stuff, trying to get in contact with a lot of colleges and do some work. We just out here grinding and they always in the studio doing their thing, of course. That's my go-to host right there. So we got a, got a whole package deal walk in. Got the artist and the host. And the photographer. Okay, that's what's up. Word. Yeah. So how, this, this, uh, let me get a backstory on, on your manager. How, how, how did you get started? <laughs> <laughs> and I finally get to tell this story with the present. <laughs> finally get to tell the story with them here. Um, so I've kind of always been just out and about on the scene. <laughs> I've kind of just always been out and about, you know what I'm saying? Um, fast forward, October 2018, we were just kind of sitting around. We was just really getting out here doing events and stuff. Um, I used to partner up with a few other people in LBS 2 Turn at a little spot called Holly's out in Orangeburg every Thursday. Um, we would do an indie night where... We would do an indie night where we would always give away $100 to the winning artist. So we used to have people coming from all over the place. Um, we used to have a group, a big group at that point. It was about 30-something of us. We would meet at my house monthly, try to get everybody registered, everybody on the same page with their music. Um, after a while, you know what I'm saying, you kind of lose people along the way. So the group got smaller and smaller and smaller. Then, you know, LaGordon jumps out one day and he's like, yo, you might as well just go ahead and be my manager. And I'm just like... No, <laughs> I was like, no, I don't really want to 
want to, you know, like, that ain't my thing. I don't think so. But I'm going to come to them shows, though. I got you. He was like, nah. So he was my rebuttal, you know. I don't got no name. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Cool. You can just use Dejounte. Nah, I don't want to use that. Well, you don't have a choice. It's already in a song. So, so that's where that came from. And then we did um, an event. We had an artist down here getting ready to leave the building. Here you go, Freeport Donnie. So, what's up with this management? I don't know when I became this manager, but hey, you got it. Let's get it. So, um, that's when I drew up my first contract. <laughs> I drew up my first contract. We went and sat down with Donnie. Um, got everything done. And that was the birth of Dejante Management. Flutter Effect has been on board since day one. Freeport, Donnie, and Lil Gordon have been on board since day one. J Benz is one of the ones that pushed me over into this world. So, we here. Yeah, we forced you into it. We, we believed in you. Yeah, that's, 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 that's how long y'all been rocking together? It's been a little over a year now, gang. Okay. Yeah, yeah. About two. I mean, well, we're, we're coming up with two. Yeah. Say, we we up on two right now, but Dejan T management turned one in October. October yeah. But we all kind of been in the same, you know, area for about two years now. So. That was twenty eighteen. It was twenty. Okay. Yeah, on the way to. Yeah. So it was kind of organic too, cause like when we go to these events. Me and little bro, we be rocking the whole night. You know what I'm saying? Right. Just. On some cool and shit. We from the birds, so you know what I'm saying. We already know how we do. Now I am not from one direction. Oh, we go. Yo, that don't even count. To your viewers, what high school you went to? Okay, even though I went to OW. Okay, 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 okay. Alabama. Okay, we gonna let you get it in. We gonna let you get it in one time. Yeah, go ahead. Shout out to you. She from the bird, y'all. From Birmingham. Thank you. See what he said right. I thought it was Beeham. <laughs> Y'all say orange bird. No, we said a bird. Say bird. No. Just I just said, said the bird. bird. Anyway. Orange bird. Orange bird. Yeah. Orange bird. <laughs> we only say that when we got to give people our address. I know. That's like the state of South Carolina. Like, where you from? The bird? It's only one place you think of. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like three birds. And if you don't know, then no, you're it's like, only one bird. There? It's only one. All right, bird. No, no, no. no, 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 no. no. Spartanburg don't be called Spartanburg. Right right yeah. Shout out to Spartanburg, but we ain't doing that right now. We call it Sparkle City. They call it Sparkle City, exactly, yeah. Spartanburg is Sparkle City. Like, the bird. The bird is the bird. Like. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Everybody know that? Right. So, if you decide what's, what's going on, who up next? <laughs> Man, listen. When, when we talk in terms of up next, we got to... We got to get technical with that, to be completely honest, because my team is full of different genres. Everybody really has their own thing. Um, Lil Gordon is, of course, a hip-hop artist, but at any given moment, he can be a crossover artist. Um, he pulls the fan base from all over the place, not only that, but it's, it's real diverse, you know what I'm saying? And we come from an area where we actually went to a school, you know, that was pretty mixed. So a lot of his fans, like... They be all kind of colors coming out the woodwork, you know what I'm saying? So at any given moment, he can take that step over there and just do numbers. Then you got Freeport Donnie, who's more so, that's just total hip-hop, you feel me? Like, that's really one of those vibe out, you know what I'm saying? Roll one, like, yeah, look like, at that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, vibes. Donnie bring you that, that riding type music, you know what I'm saying? And then um, Alexia Rose, she is our pop star, you know, like she can work with anybody. You put her on a hook with a hip hop artist and I promise you got gold. But as far as her solo music, it's more so on the pop side. Um, then we got Fame Oliver. Fame is just a trap, a trapper rapper, okay? Yeah. Fame. <laughs> trapper rapper three coming soon. You know what I'm saying? It's already here. Hold on, trapper rapper three is here. You about to drop the other one. You know what I'm saying? Oh, the trap way, you're right. My bad, my bad. But, um, the trap way yeah. coming soon. Fame is just, he's just completely trapped out. So, in his performance, it gives you life. You know what I'm saying? Like, fame is going to make you laugh, but he's also going to make you listen to what he got to say. Like, he's going to be, he's that one that brings the crowd to the flow. Like, uh, you know what I'm saying? He's talking about a little son. This kid, no son. You know what I'm saying? Then we got Rock Nate. Rock Nate is the newbie to the squad. We just got her a few months ago. Um, she did a concert. It was the girl on girl action that um, Jew and Miss Tip did. Right. And um, one of the things that we agreed to give away with that package was to have a sit down with me and talk about maybe joining the team. And okay. that night, Rocky gave me chills. Like, yeah, she dope. That girl gave me chills that night. I had to stop the party and I was like, you know what? 
it's yours. Like, you got it. Ever since she's been a part of the team, she's really been a team player. So, we're really looking forward to her getting out on platform. She'll also be taking the stage at South by Southwest. And she is really, her song, her hit song is her swag, Wavy. That's Nate. Yeah, Wavy. She, <laughs> she's just mad. <laughs> she's really laid back. You know what I'm saying? Her music, it fits her style. Like, she gonna talk that shit. But she gonna make sure that your bitch feel her too. You feel yeah. me? Like yeah. so, I got a I got a variety on the team, and everybody is pushing something different. But at the same time, we moving as a collective unit, so it kind of works. You know what I'm saying? If you dropping on Monday and you dropping on Tuesday, we pushing all of that like it's nothing. You know what I'm saying? We really work as a family. So when we stay up next and stuff like that, I don't really. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to say because at any given moment, everybody is ready. Everybody is registered like they're supposed to be. Everybody is already seeing returns from their music. So at any given time, anybody on my team could go. That's what's up. What's a prime example of some things you've seen from artists, especially in South Carolina, that you can kind of give them, you know what I'm saying, some advice on? I can get one. Buy your beats. Don't have the tag in the back of the beat. Shout out to 97. We do have a producer on our oh, team. Yeah, yeah. He's from Shout out 97. Yeah. Um, all of Lil' Gordon Beats, mm -hmm. they are made by 97. Um, it is real life a collective unit. So <laughs> he records with the same people. Donnie has his recording team. Like everybody has a whole system. 97, he's actually a part of our team. Okay. Um, he couldn't be with us tonight, but trust me, when he hit the scene, they really going to know who he is. But um, besides buying your beats, the trend that I'm starting to see in South Carolina is like that money making shit move instead of the talent right. and they're not putting the money into the right places. They'd rather put the money into doing the strip club shows or you know what I'm saying the the lifestyle right. but that money could go into promo it can go into marketing it could do it it could you can make a return off you know what I'm saying if it's invested the right way um not only that but Having a manager is becoming a major trend. If you don't have nothing to manage, you don't need a manager. It's not a manager's job to create a manager. career. We don't jumpstart careers. We organize what you have and we make it work. Um, and register your music, of course. Sound Exchange, um, BMI, ASCAP, BDS, Media Base. Register your music. We can't talk about returns on money if you're not registered. It don't just come up because we go and count streams and give you a dollar for every stream. It's kind of not how it works. <laughs> yeah, that comes hey, handy. the word, man. Talk to me, dog. Right. So hey, talk to I us. I seen, I seen it someplace before, man. I don't know where. It's been, it's been not so big. The band. The hostess with the, the fucking host, most man. is. Mr. Band is. <laughs> man, tell me how that came about, man. man. Bro, uh, on some real talk, though, man. I really started when I got locked, when I was locked up, you know, you know what I'm saying? When I came home from prison, you know, that's everything I've been doing, you know what I'm saying, with this music. Ever since I jumped out the gate, I've been going to different shows, you know what I'm saying, putting myself in the mix, you know what I'm saying? I ain't know not, I ain't know not one of these people, you know what I'm saying? Like, I could tell a little girl we went to school, elementary school together, like, right. and they, yeah. you know what I'm saying, you probably don't remember that, but we all picked up together, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We all met, you know, all types of shit like that. So, I don't know, man, like, I just really love it, you feel me? That's yeah. what I love to do. Hey, as long as you love it, man, that's, that's definitely one of the most important things, bro. You know what I'm saying? You gotta keep grinding. Love right, right. what you do, you know what I'm saying? Right, yeah, right. yeah. Right. Flood of Fed, what's going on? You back there hiding? I'm not hiding. <laughs> <laughs> what's up? She got these package deals going right. for the low. <laughs> she got package deals going for the low. Let's, let's talk about these package deals. You better plug yourself. So, basically, you know, me and Dejan came up with this plan and we set up these package deals. So basically, it's three packages. It's purple, white, and black. So, um, but I came up with some cute stuff. It was like, <laughs> it was the caterpillar, the cocoon, and the butterfly. It's so each one is a different package and each stuff, each one comes with different things. It comes with a creative consultation. You get um, up to like four outfits, you know, you can pick an indoor shoot, an outdoor shoot, you can even book something in the studio, you know, so it's different stuff and you know, you can't beat the price, so, yeah. How long have you been shooting? Now it's about to be five years. Okay. Yeah, so, you know, I taught myself everything, okay. but I plan on going to school, you know, and learning more, so. Okay. You know, the best, uh... The best thing is really experience. experience yeah. Yeah. The best teacher's experience. Yeah, teacher's experience. Yeah. So yeah. first time going to side by side, first. First time going to Texas. Period. Where? <clears throat> what you looking forward to, man? 
you get just seeing what type of people they is. Yeah. That's it, mostly. Yeah. I'm looking for the food. Oh, me man. too. There's some dope spots. I'm going to find me a it's restaurant. What? Right. Yeah. Oh, look, look, that's your job to find us the food. Oh, I'm going to find the food, yeah. I want to enjoy the city when I go down. Yeah, you're going yeah. to enjoy Austin. You know what I'm saying? It was dope when I was there. Okay. I'm pretty sure, you know, I still city is grown, so. So, Dejan, for all the people that want to get in contact with you, go ahead and drop your social media for, for them. Um, on IG, I can be reached at Dejan.tmanagement. That's Day, D-A-J-O-N dot T-E-E management. Facebook, Dejan T. Twitter, Dejan T. Um, email, Dejan T. Management at gmail.com. If you can't find me, you can reach any one of them and they can find me. I'm everywhere. I ain't hard to find. Follow me on Instagram at Flutter Effect, um, F L U T T E R dot E F F E C T. Okay, y'all got it. All right. I'm always looking for models, so always hit me up if you you don't have to be experienced or anything. Come, you know, if you want to try it. I'm always looking for people. So. All right. Well, you know, follow me on the ground. <laughs> Little Gordon Three X L I L G O R D O N. The number three and the letter X. You know, always looking for features and stuff like that. So just hit me up. I'm hard too. I'm talking hard. <laughs> uh, that's what's up. Yeah. You can follow me at jbaz 2 turk on Instagram. J B A N D uh, S two. <laughs> the number two in turk. Yeah, How you spell turk? <laughs> If you don't know how to spell turn, I don't know what yeah. to <laughs> They might put turn. You know what I'm saying? They might go up there and put turn. That's a dollar sign. T-U-R-N-E-D. Hey, y'all can follow me everywhere at Freeport Donnie. We just gonna keep it simple. We type in Freeport Donnie on any platform, they come up. That's Guaranteed. Hey, man, listen. <laughs> Self-explanatory. <laughs> Make sure y'all go check out Fame Oliver as well. Yeah. Um, what's Fame IG? Baby underscore slime two X X. That's Fame Oliver. It's Fame Oliver. It's Fame Oliver. It's Fame Oliver. It's Fame Oliver. Yeah, you gotta know your artist a little better. That's what I type in. Fame dot. Yeah, that's the little name under, but it's Fame dot Oliver. It's Fame dot Oliver. Oh wait, Fame underscore Oliver two X X. The number two in XX. Yeah, Anybody would be wanting to come handle, you know, the internet stuff, you hire it. Um, <laughs> follow, follow Alexia Rose at Lose Your Lexi. And that's yeah. Lexi with a Y instead of the I. Yes. And then Rock Nate at Rocky underscore Napalm. And the only plug everywhere to plug VA space only space plug. You did. You just know how to spell that. So. Yeah, and then you gotta follow plug. 97 too. That's just 97. Yeah, 97. 97, yeah. 97, <laughs> 97 yup. Yeah. 97 is grimy on. Oh, on IG, yeah. yeah. You yeah. gotta follow the whole game. We miss anybody? Mm -mm. Nope. Uh, That's it. That's the game. Right. Yeah, I appreciate y'all pulling out. Shout out Magnum Boss, too. It was definitely a whole two-turn family. <laughs>